Ah, the 5K road test. I'm sure you've seen a few videos about it. And well, today's gonna be a little different. Instead of just testing the sport of running itself, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test multiple watches. Uh, one being the Casio G-Shock. This is the GBD H1000, if I said that right. Uh, if not, it'll pop up on the screen or it already popped off, or it's or it's on the screen right now. Then we're also going to test this other newer watch, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. This is the classic 46 millimeter, and kind of a benchmark. I'm going to use the Garmin Phoenix 6X Pro Solar, and I'll also have the Aura Ring. We'll measure heart rate, GPS, a whole bunch of fun stuff. And right now, it is a gorgeous day here in Utah, so I can't go wrong, right? I'm going to be running outside, get a little bit of sunshine, test some gadgets, get a break from work. Sounds good, right? Want to come with me? Let's go. Now, before I begin each run, well, I first change into a nice texture. Oh, microphone, that was loud, sorry. And then I quickly document the steps and the power. I always know, well, I always like to know how many steps I got during the run and what's the battery deficiency when using GPS on a device. Let's quickly take a look and we'll make it a remarkable documentation entry. So this is going to be a review within a review within a review. We'll get to these in a minute. Uh, I need to start a new notebook. So I'm going to go to menu my files go to dad wearables 2021 and then we'll do new notebook and we're going to call this the 5k running tests and then i like to uh just put in the quarter usually Q4 2021, line medium, create. Okay. 5K test. So we have one. We have this one. Oh, you know what? I was doing some calisthenics. So that's what it looks like when you save the workout. Again, this is a solar watch. Pretty cool. And so is this. So we'll save that. And finish. This one takes a while, so there's my distance. All right. Okay, so if I drill down, it should tell me my steps somewhere. There we go. Can you read that? Man, that font is small. 4,844. Yeah. Now on the battery, kind of tricky here. We don't know what it is. It's just low. And then two, we have the Garmin, three, Samsung, and four. That's my fourth one. Oh, Aura Ring which is more than enough to run with. Trust me on this. Okay. So we're at 36%. Nice. 6,000 steps already. It's going to be a good day. Now keep in mind, I've been wearing this one, this one, this one, and this one all day. And Samsung, pretty easy, you just click right there, 6,461. 
And for the aura ring, well, I have to look that up. I'll do that later. And hopefully we have enough power. 47%, 15 hours and change. Yeah, that should be good for a 5K. Pretty easy, you just open the app and then it synchronizes. So we're at 76%. And then you just go to the activity tab. 5,020, wow, usually it's higher. So there we go. There are the beginning stats. We'll say this is pre, and then when I get back, we'll see what the others are. Now, I've tried running with multiple gadgets at a time on my wrist. It's really uncomfortable and it affects the heart rate, so I'm not going to do that today. Got to crank that one down a bit. And against my better judgment, I'm leaving this one at home. So I'm going to put this in my compression sock and that's going to get a nice little heart rate monitor and still GPS via my skin on my leg, but I've done it before. This watch is two months old and it has worn really well. I always clean the sensors. You know what? I have two legs. Fine. I'll just wear my Apple Watch too. So what I do is I just slide this off because these are not comfortable when they're in the sock. But in case these came out and they popped out of my sock for some strange reason, it would be easier to find on the ground with the orange. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah. Thanks. All right. Let's go run. 